What's up guys, Human Carjack here. In today's video, we're gonna be heading over to Vinny 10 Racing and we're gonna be getting some work done on the Forester. So we're gonna be getting a Pro Tune along with changing the CVT fluids. The CVT fluids weren't my idea. It was recommended to me by one of the employees over there at VTR and they said that as you start to kind of modify this car, the uh, transmission fluids or the CVT fluids start to go bad a little bit sooner, which makes sense because it's, it's the same thing when it comes to like your engine oil and things like that. So we're gonna get them changed along with the tune just for insurance purposes. Now another thing, we actually recently changed out the intake to a Mishimoto racing intake and we still have it on the old tune. So I am getting a check engine light right now, so they're gonna help me sort that out. Once all that stuff gets sorted, uh, I'm gonna need a couple more little things from them, but as of now, the big thing that we're gonna be doing is the dyno tune. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's gonna be tomorrow morning, so I'll see you guys then. So the shop looks really cool. We have a bunch of different STIs over here, a lot of modified cars. It looks to be a really cool shop. I dropped off the Forester maybe, I don't know, I've been waiting for maybe about like two or three hours now. Uh, they're doing a whole bunch of stuff to it. They're putting in a charge pipe. Uh, we're swapping out the CVT fluids. We're doing a pro tune and they're also checking a couple of little things like the preload on the uh, BC Racing coilovers because I think it's a little bit off as well as installing a metal set of Hubcentric rings because the ones that I had were plastic. One of them had ended up cracking so they're going to replace those for me. Overall so far it's a really really cool shop. The thing that really makes this shop awesome from what I've seen so far is the staff. The staff is amazing. I mean I've been talking to uh, some of the girls at the front desk, uh, Nicole, Hemi, they're, they're really awesome. Guys, if you're in the area, in the Long Island area, in the New York area in general, I really, really recommend checking them out. Um, not to mention Vinny Ten himself is just so awesome. Really down to earth guy, very personable, uh, very ethical, because he's like all about doing the right thing for his customers. So I really, really do appreciate that and I respect that. Um, let me just show you guys the lineup of cars they have over here. They have a bunch of different Subarus, WRXs, Legacies, STIs, different year STIs. Uh, we got a GTR over there. Um, so they mostly do specialize here, a bunch of more STIs over here. So they mostly do specialize in um, Subarus and Nissans, but they do service other cars as well, like any shop really should. Um, so they do an excellent job of that. The customer service is top notch so far. And here we have another another pretty cool color, car over here. We have a Supra and just all these different cars over here. Oh, we even have a Forester. Nice, I'm not the only one. Yeah, so basically so far the shop is really cool. I'm gonna wait around for a little bit longer, let them finish up all the work, and then we're gonna get the car on the dyno. We're gonna do an actual dyno tune. First time actually doing a dyno tune because the last pro tune that I had was a street tune. So we're gonna see how that goes. And oh, look, there's a WRX over here with the same wheels as mine, where it's like in silver. That looks pretty dope. I actually do like the, the silver a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned and we're about to get that all set up. All right, so we've got the Forester right over there. It's about to go on the dyno, but check this out. They have an 1100 horsepower Hellcat right on there. Pretty insane.
282 is our max power and max torque is 300. So pretty good overall. Yeah, so we basically got all that sorted out. The car is running pretty well. Um, it's looking really nice too. The engine bay is looking a lot better. I like the, re the red accents. We did take out the air scoop. So now we have the Mishimoto racing intake on there. We did take out the air scoop because it was like kind of like a ghetto setup because I didn't get the air boxes to fit properly. I am probably going to do some custom work to get it to fit. Um, but yeah, that's mostly for like aesthetic and just getting like the airflow going a little bit more directly into the intake. So the guys are taking all the wires off the car right now. They're going to get it off the dyno. Uh, paid my bill, so we're good to go. And now we're just going to give it a little bit of a drive so we see how it feels. Again, I highly recommend them. The fact that Steve took a lot of time to kind of explain everything that was going on, everything that was going on in the tuning process. Uh, I know that in my field of work, I do the same thing and that's really appreciated. It's like, you know, you want to know why you're paying your money um, and this is money well spent. Big shout out again to Vinny and Nicole and everybody else who made this possible. Check them out if you're in the Long Island area. Now let's get that first drive going. again overall the car is handling great the tune is sitting very very well with the car like there's no issues whatsoever let's uh let's line up with this uh this honda over here the tune is doing very well i mean no issues so far the thing that i really like that steve had uh kind of programmed into this tune is that it's not dumping a whole bunch of fuel into the uh on, like on startup so i think that's one thing that contributed to it being really loud um, so now it's like much more quiet, especially with the, uh, with the new NVIDIA N1 exhaust on it. So it's like definitely much more suppressed and quiet, which is good for now. But I think probably, probably this weekend I'm going to be straight piping it again. Um, but yeah, I'm overall, I'm really happy with it. I know that the video is a little, little dark cause it is nighttime now, but you know, I hope you guys could see the video and at least hear it. I have a, a new microphone on the GoPro right now. So I hope you can kind of take it all in but lots of turbo sounds that i'm happy with i'm really happy with the tune i'm happy that the way everything turned out and i think it was a well worth investment so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know how you guys like the first person perspective on some of these videos i try to do this as often as i can especially when i do like installs i mean i've done it before in the past but like either the recording fails or the gopro battery dies really early but if you do like this let me know down below. I'll do more first-person perspectives. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.